I was adopted as a baby from India um, from an unplanned pregnancy. Uh, my biological mom was quite young. She was 21. She was alone. And in that culture, to get pregnant out of wedlock, uh, assumedly out of wedlock, uh, you know, is a very shaming thing. So, uh, you know, it's also a culture that's very much in favor of gender side, so sex selective abortion. If it wasn't for like God's hand in my life and her courage to do the right thing and to give me a chance, um, you know, I could easily not not be here, you know, if she had had more access to abortion or if she had had the funding to have an abortion there or if funding to find out if she was having a girl, you know, all those things. Um, but through a series of events that required her to be quite courageous and, you know, God's plan in my own life. Um, she ended up at a convent that had an attachment for single moms and she stayed there and then uh, gave birth to me and then left me there. And then I was thankfully adopted to Canada where, you know, I've had a good life. Um, and I'm very grateful to her for her courage and her resilience um, to be able to do that very difficult thing uh, uh, at a very difficult time in her life. And, you know, a few years ago, we were able to help a young girl on campus um, give her baby up for adoption. And something that she said really resonated resonates with me, which is that she gave her baby up for adoption because she can have a life and so can her baby. You know, and that is what I believe my biological mom did as well, which takes tremendous courage. She must have believed at some level that she could have a life and so could I, you know, and that she didn't have to end my life so that she could have a life. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. You know, you have it in you to do hard things and you're not alone. There's an army of people willing to support you and this baby, and that more than anything, you have the resilience and the strength of character to, to, to walk in this path that you didn't think was gonna happen to you. Um, like you don't have to do it alone. And that it's, it might not be as hard or as dark as you think it's going to be.